And when it comes to staking out, do you have a story where you're like, I'm not, that was kind of intense where you've had to kind of, you were kind of, I don't want to say intense, but coming at it, looking for a guy rather quickly. Cause I know spring training is a different approach to some of these guys and what have you. Is there a story where you, you're kind of like, well, that was kind of intense trying to find a guy. Well, the biggest one, I always remember I when I was covering the Yankees, uh, Chuck Knobloch, their second baseman, was going through a, a, the yips and a, a, you know, a situation where he, he, he didn't know if he was going to throw the ball to the stands or he's going to make accurate throws. And it was really heartbreaking to watch. You know, this mm-hmm. guy came to the Yankees, a gold glove player, and he was just melting down day by day. And you wished that Chuck would just come out and say, you know, guys, I'm not talking today. Or you know what, I'm going to give you five minutes and I'm going to go. And it was just a total wild card as to whether or not he was going to talk on a given day. And this was such a big issue on the team at that time. So you spent your time, so much time standing by his locker. And you felt there was a part of you that felt kind of bad about it because you yeah. felt like you're someone who was watching an accident on the highway. Right. And, and you know, this guy and, and I always wish that that was cleaner than it was. And I remember one night, you know, day after day after day, Chuck, do you have time? No. Chuck, do you have time? No. And then one game in Chicago, he threw three balls away in, in the first five innings, Was came out of the game. And after the game, I waited and waited and waited. And he came out and just poured his heart out uh, and talked about how, you know, you uh, if, if it didn't turn around, he was going to have to take it to the house was the phrase he used. Like he was just broken by this. And uh, but that's the, the result of all that time, the payoff of waiting and waiting and waiting for him to actually talk.